So how can the deceived know they're deceived? How can we spot that kind of person and be of some help? I can suggest a few things. Look for people who seek feelings and blessings and experiences and healings, people who are more interested in the byproducts of the faith than the author and finisher of the faith, Christ, who are more interested in the gifts than the giver. Look for people who are more committed to a denomination, a certain church, a certain religious group, a certain gathering, maybe more social than spiritual. Look for people who are involved in theology only at a sort of academic level. Seminaries are full of these kinds of false Christians who look at theology as some kind of an academic interest but have no real relationship with the Lord. How do you spot those you need to help? Look for those who are overindulgent in the name of grace. Those who are overindulgent in the name of grace are those who lack penitence. They lack that brokenness, that humility. And then look for those who see God's role as to give them whatever they want. You see, God as the fulfiller of their desires, rather than themselves as the ones who must bow to God's desires, which are in the end the best. All of these kinds of people may be deceived and very likely on the road to destruction but they think they're going to heaven.